Did you know that Google Now has two new features added to Google Meet and Google Classroom that can greatly improve your online instruction? Let's take a look at each of these, starting with Google Classroom. Now previously when I would post assignments in Google Classroom, my assignments look like this. Specifically what I'm talking about is the instructions. There was no ability to add bold, italicized, or underlined text, let alone bullets, in my instructions. And when it comes to providing assignments to students in an online environment, you want to be clear and explicit about what you need them to do, or else they may get confused. But because Google has added rich text formatting to their instructions, you can now make your instructions a little bit more bold when it comes to stating them. So here, with these instructions, I can highlight, change this to a bulleted list. So having this ability means you can make things stand out that are important. Uh, like specifically, I always tell my students at the very beginning of my instructions, click view assignment because that's the button that's going to appear at the bottom of the instructions from their view. So I'll bold that. Um, any piece that you need to stand out, you can make it bold, italicized, underlined, or again, you can add bulleted text. So. Anytime you're setting up your instructions, don't forget these rich text formatting tools. It makes your life a whole lot easier. And the other feature that's gonna really change the way you do things is found inside Google Meet. Now, let's flip over to Google Meet, and I've set up an event in my calendar to talk to my students online about animal cells. And at some point during my instruction, I would like to put my students into breakout rooms so that they can talk to one another. Well, previously, if you wanted to use breakout rooms in Google Meet, you had to set them up during the meeting or at the beginning of the meeting. Now you have the ability to set up your breakout rooms ahead of time. So that saves you precious time during your meeting that you don't have to waste setting up breakout rooms later. So even though this meeting is tomorrow, I can go in and in the section where I've added a Google Meet to my calendar item, I can click the gear and now I have an option for breakout rooms and I can set up breakout rooms. I can name them ahead of time and I can drag students into the specific groupings that I want and it will save them and they'll be available tomorrow. So no wasting time during meetings now. My groups are already pre-selected and set up. I click save and they'll be ready to go for my meeting tomorrow. If I want to check, I can just click join with Google Meet. Click join now. Go to the top of my meeting, click on activities and breakout rooms, and I can see that my groups are already available. When I'm ready, I click set up rooms. There they are, pre-sorted. And when I'm ready to go, I can click open rooms and my students will be diverted into their specific groups. So it's that easy. Well, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to check out my blog at www.techiecoach.com, and we'll see you next time.